A few days ago, Ashes of Creation dropped this tweet on Twitter, showing us the lava zone along with the words Ohio. At first glance, you're probably thinking that they're just adding to the meme of Ohio being a real classy state to live in. But in the years of Ashes of Creation social media accounts, when they drop vague tweets like this, it's normally a tease for something more. We are all impatiently waiting for that December livestream for Ashes of Creation, showing us off some potentially huge reveals, like maybe an Alpha 2 roadmap or some sort of thing like that, but maybe we are getting something else or something more. If creative director Steven Shreve can contain himself in the next stream and not leak surprises early, I imagine that they would announce the alpha dates towards the end of that and give us some big showcases leading up to the date announcement. Something like a new zone that we know they've constantly been working on all year, like the volcanic region. The volcanic region has gotten a ton of love this past year, showing off tons of concept art to this Ohio-like zone throughout the year, along with even giving it much more space on the map than it was originally planned. It used to be this tiny region off of the Riverlands, but now the volcanic region appears to be this massive zone on the other side of the world. And I imagine at this point, with all they've shown us, it's got to be getting pretty close to be ready to be shown off. You can expect this area to be filled with a large rocky environment, rivers of lava, and smoke filling up the air, blocking out the majority of the sun as this zone burns away everything it can. There appears to be smaller volcanic spouts in some of the regions as well, along with a giant cave system that could house some interesting foes to fight. In some of the concept art, you you see of the lava zone there is these large lava infused golems going up against some players along with a dragon breathing fire in the background and my bet is that this dragon would in fact be the pyroclastic worm that we have seen a few times living under a mound in an ashes of creation alpha one dungeon there seems to be a 50 50 split between the community on whether or not people do think they're getting an alpha announcement or spot testing or whatnot but it was this time two years ago that intrepid gave us the alpha one roadmap so i'm really hoping we at least get a small part of it. Alpha 2 does not have to be finished for Intrepid to start testing, like a lot of you in the comments think, because you're not going to get a final game, you're going to get a very incomplete game that needs testing and feedback, and especially if the spot testing leading up to it is under NDA. It's okay for the game to be a mess that Intrepid cleans up as we test some isolated areas, especially if it's not revealed to the world. But the real question is, is the game even in a playable state at this point? That is something that a lot of us are wondering as we we only see isolated content. We don't see a lot of running around the world and exploring and doing different quests and things like that. So who knows what the world actually currently looks like. I personally would settle for a spot testing announcement, even if it's under NDA, because I've said in just about every other video at this point, we know spot testing is coming this year from the AMA in October. Along with this, I am still hoping to get my hands on the Tolnar as well, as we saw concept art months ago with an image of its foot teased in a live stream as well. And if this guy didn't get scrapped and restarted, he should be popping up pretty soon. My other guess on this live stream with no real evidence to back it would be Notice 3 finally. That'd be a pretty good Christmas present. We've been waiting like four years for Node 3. I would even take some dungeon gameplay of the Ruins of Carfin, which is probably unlikely due to the tank not being ready to showcase last month, but maybe they got some good work done on it since then. Or perhaps Steven is just teasing us all and is giving us a mount showcase where he reviews all of the mounts that they have shown off this year. No date for the December stream has been announced yet, but I imagine they're going to make us wait all the way until the end of the month on December 30th, sticking with the last Friday of the month time frame that they normally shoot for. I was originally hoping they bumped it forward a bit as Intrepid tends to not do much in the time between Christmas and New Year's, but we know that the next Monday and Tuesday they're doing some holiday community events where you'll be able to jump in with other members of the community to make some Christmas ornaments or play some Ashes of Creation themed Quiplash, which should be a fun time and hopefully we get a leak or two within that. But anyways, do you think the Ohio tweet was a tease for what's to come in December? Or do you think it's going to be something completely different? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.